blitz. That's if that pussy trash on Polo G. Stressing who? It ain't no bitch that I can't smash. You got me there, but that is not a crime. BRB, about to escape and enter my magical fantasy world. You are officially not coming with me. So if I do not find somebody soon, I'll blow up. Expectation versus reality, small business edition. First, show us the product you thought was going to be your best seller versus what turned out to be your actual one. Next, show us the product you thought was a great idea, but in reality turned out to be a bit of a mess. <laughs> Lastly, show us the product you ordered tons of and can't seem to get rid of versus the one you never can seem to keep in stock. How to use a bead spinner. You put the beads of your choosing in the bowl and then you grab your curved needle and then tie a knot on the loop. You then clip the other end into a box or just secure it. You then point the curved needle down and watch the beads collect. It might be a little hard, but trust me, you'll get the hang of it. You then pull the beads down onto the string and tie like normal. Hope this helps. But on 
honestly, I just need to be a little crazy. As the Pacific Ocean now wanna be your secrets I have held in my heart A heart to hide than I saw Maybe I just wanna be yours I wanna be yours I wanna be yours I just need time So decided to get it even though I'm so bad at beat spinners Pretty cool how fast and slow it goes though Oops, you can even change directions. Guys, by the way, this is not my voice. It came with two needles. Guys, please help, it fell off after this clip. Someone help me. Should I sell this bracelet? It's brutal out here. Guess you didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. I got my driver's license last week. It's always one step forward and three steps back. Do you get days up from when she's with you? Well, good for you, you look happy and healthy, not me. Cause all I ever wanted was to be enough for you. I hope you're happy, but don't be happier. Here. Guess you didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. I got my driver's license last week. It's always one step forward and three steps back. I'm gonna show you how to make a clay bracelet. I have a box to use this. Get your string and your scissors, and this is in order, so I'm going to measure mine. The wrist was very small for this one, so I'm gonna cut it pretty short. Once you have your string, you can clip it into a box or you can tape it onto a table, but make sure it's secure. And I leave about one inch in the box so that you have room to tie it. Then get your colors. You don't have to do colors, you can do all sorts of different colors of beads or shapes. This person wanted white.
confused as of late. Yeah. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us when she playing. How could I ignore you? Trust me, I adore you. You know you need to get yourself to sleep and dream a dream of you and I Back in the sixth grade, I got them bad grades, I was in love with my tutor See, musically lose, you trapping me So I'm trying to make my beat spinner less squeaky. Oh my god, wait, it's not actually squeaking. Oh my god, okay, never mind, bye. Wow. 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 Excuse me, has anybody seen a white rabbit? Oh me, oh my. Summer after high school when we first met. They got a new Mustang to radio head. I hear your heart beat to the beat of the drums. I came to dance, dance, dance. Shorty said she's coming with a bread for the bell, for the for the young coming with a bread for the bell, for the for the young coming with a bread for the bell, for the for the young coming with a bread for the for the for the young coming with a bread for the young coming with a I got my pen and paper and the bead. How? I absolutely have to try this. I'm gonna use this ugly cupcake bead. Yeah, okay. Pack and order with me. Let's make an order. They ordered the Golden Clouds necklace. That item is now sold out, unfortunately. All done. Let's make a bracelet with one of every color I own. I have my string here, and let's start stringing them on. It's really random. Okay, I actually think this is adorable. I'm gonna add on these really cute hearts. Okay, this is actually adorable. This is the final product. So cute. Bye. Wretch, we're the wretch. We're the wretch.
Make a bracelet decision jar with me. Cut strips of paper. Make a key. Write on the words. Fold each one. Add them to the jar. Once they are all added, shake the jar. Then add decoration. And you're done. So I'm trying to make my beat spinner less squeaky. Listen to it, literally. So a bunch of you have been commenting, and I'm going to start with this one. Sandpaper. Now, we have an issue. I have no idea where there's sandpaper in my house. So we're going to use this adorable nail file. When you say sandpaper, we're supposed to sand this thing, or what am I supposed to sand? Okay, I'm going to need two hands to put some force into this thing. Now it's nice and scratched up. I really hope this works. It's louder! It's so loud! Don't use sandpaper. It also made it kind of rickety. Ugh. Any other suggestions? Hi, guys. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Lately, a lot of different accounts have been stealing my profile picture. If you're one of the people that's been doing this, I would like to ask you to either change your picture or give credit to the artist. One of my really close friends, who's tagged below, made me that profile picture. She put a lot of consideration into how to make it perfect for me. And then she designed it and drew it herself. I'm not going to make a big deal about it and report anyone or block anyone. But I wanted to at least come on here and ask that people give credit to the artist. And if you are one of these people, I'm not angry at you for using my profile picture. The entire point was that I wanted people to like it. But I want you to consider changing it or at least giving credit. Thanks, guys. Bye. So once every two weeks, I vacuum my rug. And this is because I do do bead bracelets on this rug. And, you know, things get lost. But also, it's a fluffy rug. It gets musty after a while. So we're going to clear this off. Now, it's actually a pretty small rug, so I have a mini vacuum. So it opens like this. And then this comes out. I definitely recommend that if you do have beads, you should get one of these. It has a little charging stand. And it's like really useful. And you don't have to use it for beads, obviously. You can use it for anything. I got it on Amazon, and they have a bunch of different types. Not sponsored or anything, just recommend. Okay, bye! So I'm trying to make my bead spinner less squeaky. And the last thing we tried made it even worse. So I'm going to try this one. I have this stuff, but I'm not about to make a mess on my ramen rug, so we are moving. Oh, I hate this background. Okay, I'm gonna start with very little. Ah, oh, that's a lot. I promise you it's olive oil. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, it's even louder! Wait. No, it's not. What is the sound it's making? Oh my god. It keeps getting loud and then quiet again. I don't really know. Okay, this is gonna take a while. We'll start with the basic tools. Tweezers. Scissors. Mini ones work better, but you can also just use big ones. These are technically scissors, but... String cutters. Scoops or spoons. Pliers. Okay. Now for the supplies. String, 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 string. Clamshell clasps and earring hooks. Little rings. Plates and dishes. And now for the beads. Charms. Letters. Multicolor clay beads. Simple clay beads. Clay beads. 
clay beads, seed beads. I also have one of these drawers. It's really helpful. I would definitely recommend. Oh, and you also need a ramen rug. How to use a bead spinner. First, you're going to have a base and a top. Put the top onto the base. They usually just slide on like that. Then pour in a bunch of different colors of beads. If your beads aren't pre-mixed like mine, give it a spin and make sure that they're nice and mixed up. You're going to need some really thin string. I don't know the exact size of this, but most bead spinners come with some string. You're also going to need a needle like this. They're slightly curved and they have a hole at the top. These also usually come with the bead spinner. Thread the string through the tip. It's not actually that hard. Then twist it so that it stays. Then you're going to give it a really good spin like this. Once it's spinning, you're going to put your needle in this way. Make sure that the curve is not upside down. If any of you have any tips on how to make this thing less squeaky, that would be nice. While it's not spinning, I'm going to show you where you're supposed to put the needle. Closest to you, and you're going to want to kind of put it like right there. You don't want to actually be touching the surface because it will cut off the spin. I'll show you. So if it's spinning and I put it here, it's going to stop it. Don't bend your needle, just leave it the way it comes. And don't spin this too fast. This is a better speed. And that's... I have way too many letter beads. And I never really use them. And a lot of the clay bead packs that I get come with letters, so now I have a lot. So today we're going to be making a bunch of bracelets with these. These are glow in the dark and they're really cool, so I think I'll make one with these first. I scooped out a bunch of letters, and now I have to figure out what I want to write. I'm going to spell out glow, because they're glow-in-the-dark beads, you know. And I'm going to use some multicolor beads, because I think it'll look cool. Okay, we have pink. And orange. Okay, and now we have blue. And last, we have purple. And before you all go and point it out, yes, the O is blue now. I switched it from the yellow one to the blue one. Okay, I'm going to go make this bracelet now. It's done. I think it's really adorable. Okay, what are we doing for the next one? I want to do one with black and white, but I'm not sure if I should do circles or cubes. I'm going to use the circle ones. For this one, I'm going to do the word preppy. We're going to use these beads, so starting off with pink and then purple. This is the final bracelet. I don't love it, but let me know what you think. Okay, what are we going to do for the next one? Oh, how did that get in there? Okay, there we go. There's another one, oh my gosh. Okay, we got that sorted. Now we need another bead type. I'm thinking these ones. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and pick a random letter and we're gonna make a word with it. Okay, I swear my eyes are closed. I want a good one. L, okay. Um, okay, I know it's kind of cringe, but please bear with me. I'm thinking like pink lemonade theme. Pink lemonade is basically my all-time favorite drink. Okay, this is the finished product and I love it. This is probably one of my new favorite bracelets. It's actually adorable. I still have a ton of letter beads, so let me know if you want a part two.